Happy Tuesday, Panthers, and welcome back to another episode of PTV. I'm Michael Bongiorno. And I'm David Valens. Let's get right into today's news. The Random Acts of Kindness Club is creating their annual digital Valentine's Day grams. If you'd like to send a gram to spread the love this Valentine's season, check your school email account for a link to the Google form. You can also find the form on the club's Instagram page at NPHSBKind. Please fill out the Google form by Saturday, February 11th at 8 p.m. Attention all juniors, starting this Monday you'll meet with your counselors during your English class for senior year class registration. You must complete the course request form with a parent or guardian signature and have classes entered on QConnect. If you're interested in taking the seventh period, please check your school email for a link to a Google form which will allow you to select your preferred seventh period class. Our theater department will be hosting their Stagecoach to Death mystery dinner. Our team of actors will perform a comedy and mystery play where guests from the audience get to play along and solve the mystery. A variety of additional performers such as singers, dancers, and comedians will be showcased. You can enjoy a catered meal from Amici's served with salad, garlic bread, your choice of pasta or pizza, and dessert. Bring cash to bid on exciting auction items and to buy clues from characters. The event will take place at 6 p.m. this Friday and Saturday in the cafeteria. There will be limited tickets at the door, so be sure to buy yours online at nphstheater.org. But be quick, prices will increase this Wednesday. Have you been looking for a quiet place to relax or go with friends? Well, here's Mike with information on local parks. Whether it's exercising, taking a stroll, or simply just admiring its beautiful sceneries, the park is a great place to go and take in the beautiful surroundings. And thankfully here at Caneo Valley, we have various different parks that do just that. We have a lot of parks. Uh, we stretch all the way from Dos Vienos over to, uh, over to North Ranch. Uh, but I think the, the beauty, beauty we have is that there's, there's something for everybody in all the parks that we have. Uh, whether it's uh, passive play for someone just to come and have a picnic and hang out and throw a frisbee, to uh, sports fields, uh, to play soccer, lacrosse, uh, softball, baseball, uh, to centers with, where you can, do, you can play basketball, take a class, preschool class. Uh, uh, there's, there's just something for everybody. Caneo Valley Parks have many resources for all ages. This includes playgrounds for kids, playing fields for both youth and adult sports, and exercise areas. It's the health benefits, number one, are, are immense. Uh, just getting out, uh, whether you come here by yourself just to walk around the park, uh, you could run around the park. We do have fitness stations too that uh, you could use and we have different, different places with different things. Uh, then there's also the social aspect of it also. Uh, where you can come with your friends and interact with them in a, in a healthy and a productive and, and productive manner. Another great aspect of parks is the nature that surrounds them. This includes beautiful green grass and amazing trees. In your free time, just remember that the park is a great place to get out and embrace the nature. We've got everything. So you, know, you could, every single weekend, you could find something awesome to do in the parks. So don't sit inside and, and say that you've got nothing going on. Get out there and enjoy and recreate. Reporting for PTV alongside Abby Morgenstern, I'm Michael Lusmore. For all college prep level freshmen, the NPHS Digital Arts and Technology Academy is currently accepting applications for the 2023 to 2024 school year. Data is a college prep level program that prepares students for possible careers in technology. Applications will be available at the counseling counter in the front office. Applications must be turned in by February 16th. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Martin at rmartin at conejousd.org. The CVUSD Student District Advisory Committee is a committee made up of students from each CVUSD high school. They meet every other month with CVUSD assistant superintendents and directors to discuss policies, events, and other important topics concerning the district. If you're interested in representing MPHS, applications are now open and can be found in this week's newsletter. For more information, please contact Mr. Lapeer at slapeer at caneousd.org. This past Friday, February 3rd, our very own choral music department presented their Panther Solo Night. <laughs> Students from every choir class took to the stage to sing a solo song of their choice. The range of musical genres made for an especially entertaining night. Silk Sonic, Debussy, and Rainbow Kitten Surprise were just a few of the artists of the songs performed. 
The audience enjoyed their night of live music and talented students. If you missed this performance, there will be another solo night in the spring, so make sure to come out and support our choir singers then. Now, here is Abby with today's Panther Window. Hey Panthers, if you're interested in all things space, then you may be excited to hear about a discovery that is out of this world. Astronomers found not one, but 12 new moons orbiting Jupiter. This is record breaking. Saturn holds a measly 83 moons to its orbit, so it's been bumped down to second place. Jupiter's moons range in size. Its smallest spans 0.6 miles and its largest comes in at two miles. To qualify for a name, a moon must be at least one mile long. So about half of the newly discovered moons are eligible. However, they have not been named yet. So be on the lookout. Make sure to be patient though, because the process may take a while since only 53 of Jupiter's moons have been named. That's all for now. Let's head back to the desk. Well, Panthers, that concludes everything we have for you today. We hope you have a good day and we'll see you next time.